international sales director, Mary Bustard! <laughs> It was money that was the problem. 
So what was I created for? Since I was plagued with that so many times over, I had a deep down burning desire at that moment, of course, to help make a difference in the lives of women to find financial freedom that they'll be able to do the things they wanted to do when they wanted to do it and how they wanted to do it. And no longer would money plague them. And that became my burning desire to be able to become a national sales director. It was moving. Thank you. Woo! It was, we call ourselves access to money first. For those who came in and all they needed was to make some extra income. Then it was going to be access to millions. When you saw the money and you wanted to create some more. And when you got to the place where your life, from men to working and helping others to create, it was then going to be ambition to meaning. And that's where the ATM came from that you heard Denise talk about. I want you to know that every challenge that we're faced with is as a direct result and totally related to what it is that you're called for. Embrace your challenges. I want to talk to you about the story of an eagle. And as we build our business, whether it is that you're a brand new consultant and then move, need to move to the position of a senior consultant, whether it is that you're a red jacket and then need to move to the position of a sales director, whether it is you're a sales director and need to move to the position of a senior sales director, whether it is you're a senior sales director and need to move to a future executive senior sales director, or to an executive, or to an elite, or to build your national area, whatever it is, that you face along the way will help you to be able to help those that God has called you to serve and to be make a difference for. So it is with the eagle. At a certain stage of the eagle's life, it has done this and done that and created that. You know how to book, you know how to coach, you know how to recruit, you know how to share the opportunity, but somehow you just can't fathom why. Why? Why am I not yet a car driver? I come here last year and the year before and the year after. Why? Why am I not? So here's what the eagle does. When it gets to that stage, it will fly to the mountaintop. And the eagle will take its beak and will beat it against the stone. Really beat his, his beak against the stone and beat and beat and beat until he loses the entire beak. And then the eagle will go further to take its talon off completely, take the talon off, and then he'll continue to strip itself of all its feathers. And in the process of it, it's a renewal of himself. So now the, beak, the, the, the eagle has no beak, no talon, no hair. And because of that, the body knows that it now needs to recreate all of the above. So this eagle goes in transition mode. And the beak starts regrowing, a fresh new beak. And the felon starts regrowing. And the feathers start regrowing. And what the eagle finds is a new why. A new reason to continue to focus on what is important. A new why to continue his purpose. A new way to move on to create something greater. And that eagle lives and continues for twice the amount of years that it has already lived because it renewed itself. And today I say to each of you, you came here because we all want more. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter. What matters is today is a new day and a new you. It's a rebirth of yourself. It's an opportunity for us to take this very moment and cause the rest of our lives. We can't repair what's, what's past. It helps us to be where we are. But we can certainly take what we have to create something greater. One of my favorite points over the year in Mary Kay that has always kept me, no matter what goes on, I know in my heart I can rely on this to continue to help me stay focused on creating something greater. And many of you have heard me share it. And today I want to take this opportunity to share it with you one more time. But before I do so, I want you to both take a moment and look at those that are called to lead you. Only this week, I had the opportunity to pull every morning, I look at who has been anchoring every area of my life. And we have many different areas of our lives where we are committed to. And I remember when I really wanted my business to grow, I flew to Georgia. 
and I was the, our national sales director, Valerie Bagnell, and I sat with her, and she took me to stores. We didn't do much of anything, but just her process and knowing what she had created. And I watched her, and it cemented in my life how I wanted that area, it created a why, how I wanted that area of my life to be. And I watched her handle so many obstacles, and I watched her last year with so much pride. And I thank God that when I dialed 1-800 number, I was referred to the Bagnell area because every area of my life has been anchored on watching her develop her Mary Kay business. And you have made such a difference for so many of us. We know what it is to fall down and proudly stand up and get back up and create. We know what it is to hold our heads up high regardless of what and continue staying focused on our purpose. And it's because of the leader that you are. We have never felt like we're inadequate no matter what's going on. And I thank you for that, completely. <laughs> the point I want to leave you with is commitment. And remember, it doesn't matter how you came here, it's how you leave here that makes the difference. When you possess an inner spirit and desire, when your die has been cast, when your decision has been made, when you have chosen to step over the line, stand up and be counted as a disciple of the determined. When your past has been redeemed, when your presence makes sense, when you're finished and done with low living, light walking, small planning, smooth knees, solid dreams, mundane thinking, and to walk goals. When you're lifted by prayer and labored by love, when your way is narrow, your companions are few, but your diet is reliable and your mission in life is clear. When you will not flinch in the face of sacrifices, meander in the maze of mediocrity, or pause in a pool of popularity. When you will not let up, shut up, back away, or be still. When your desire dominates your doubts and your purpose in life is greater than your problems, that's when you're committed to your why and that's when you become bountifully blessed. Thank you so much.